Hi there, how you doing? My name is Robert Renman. Today I want to talk about triads and not just talk about them but also show you how you can make use of them. I'm going to play, be playing over an E minor chord and a D major chord. And I'm going to play this idea that consists of pretty much just triads and you'll hopefully hear how it sounds so melodic and nice, right? So here we go. So let's uh, talk briefly about what a triad is. Well, if we start with the E minor chord, if we play the notes of the E minor scale, it's the E natural minor, it sounds like this. And if we pick out the first note, the third note, and the fifth note from that scale, we get these notes. One, three, five. And when we play them together, which I'm doing in the beginning here, I'm playing on the ninth fret on the G string, eighth fret on the B string, and seventh fret on the bottom E string. I have an E minor chord. And you probably have noticed when you play an, a bar chord, if you know the E minor bar chord up here, those bottom three strings are these notes. And then for the, uh, for the D major chord, doing the same thing there, if we start uh, on the root note, the first note D here, on the seventh fret on the G string, and then we'll play the D major scale and pick out the first, the third, and the fifth notes of D major. We get a D major triad, which is part of this chord. The D major bar chord. So that's how this whole idea that I'm showing you today, this theme, it could be a part of a solo or a kind of an intro to something or a melody. It's just consisting of these two triads. And then what I'm doing uh, in my example here, I'm changing things around a little bit. I'm inverting the triad, as it's called. And the first time I'm playing one, three, five. But then as I progress through the idea, I'm changing the order. So it's not always one, three, five. It can be five, three, one, or it could be 315, for example. So let's uh, move up close on the fretboard and I can show you better how to play it. So the first time I'm playing this idea, I'm playing 135 for E minor. And then when the chord switches to D major, I'm doing 531 coming back from the D major triad. So those two together. And then we're back to E minor again. And this time I'm inverting it by playing five, one, three. And then for, that's for the E minor. And for the D major, I'm playing three, one, five. So those two together sound like this. ending the idea with this, these two notes. Just hanging on that note, just sort of finish that idea. And when I play this uh, inverted 
second version of the E minor, I use my, my ring finger to bar those two strings. I'm not really barring, I'm, I'm using one finger for both strings, but when I'm going from the D string to the G string, I'm kind of rolling it down so, so they sound one at a time. And then on the D, on the D chord, I use one finger for each string. Because I want to play this, I don't want it to sound like, like that. I want each note to ring individually. And then, now I'm going to do this pretty much exact same thing, but I'm moving it up here to show you how you can play a triad somewhere else on the fretboard. Now this time, I'm playing this first. And that is 5-1-3 for E minor. And then we're coming back on, on the D chord, D major chord, with the 3, 1, and 5. And next, I'm now going down the neck this direction, and I'm playing 3, 5, 1 for E minor, and then 1, 5, 3 for D major. And then I'm ending the whole idea with those two notes. So if I play it the whole thing without the backing track a little bit slower, it sounds like this. And second time up here. When I'm playing these notes, I'm just using my ring fing uh, my index finger the same way. One finger for all three notes, but I'm sort of rolling it over so I don't play them together. I don't want it to sound like which is actually a chord. I want it to play the triads in sort of like an arpeggio, you can call it, like one note at a time. And the same with this one. The D major triad here, I'm using the index finger for the first two notes. Sometimes I use my index finger, sometimes I use my, my ring finger for those notes. The benefit with using your ring finger is because you can easier switch to the, the D major triad without having to move your hand so much. So let's do the whole thing with the, uh, the backing track here. you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.